hi friends if you are watching this video you are wanting to see what i have in my supplies for my potential home birth so the hope is to have a home birth i have had two hospital births one was a 41 week induction my second was a natural labor um, 11 days overdue and very smooth very quick and I really enjoyed just that natural experience. So I have a midwife and they are coming to our home for a home birth and I am very excited to um, hopefully have this experience. So I'm gonna share with you what I have packed up in my hospital bag for a home birth and um, just walk you through the things that my midwife recommends. We are in South Dakota and this is kind of a newer thing um, to be able to have home births in the past three or so years. So it was a thing quite a while ago. Then they banned it to have midwives and home births and now it is allowed again. So I am excited that we are able to have this opportunity. I am filming this at about 36 weeks. So um, I usually like to have all my stuff ready by 37 weeks. So there's a few things that are on their way that I haven't quite gotten here yet, but I'll tell you what they are. So let's just walk through what I have on my bed here and what I'll be using for our home birth. All right, so here is everything on my bed right now of what I have. So for labor, I am hoping to do a water birth. They are bringing an inflatable tub. So I have two shower curtains to put one underneath the tub. One can also go on the bed and I have extra sheets, I'm not showing you those right now that we'll use for the bed. And so that is where those will be used for towels or of course rag towels for um, delivery when things get a little messy. So six of those is what they recommend. And then um, also just like along the lines of ha in labor snacks, they recommend having those. So I just have like a baggie of snacks that are ready to go like RX bars. Um, like a little packet of peanut butter, Lara bars, fr uh, fruit rolls. Some will be for my husband as well. And then I really, I use lavender all the time. Every night when I go to bed, it's very relaxing when I practice my Bradley Method breathing. So I have that to roll on my wrist because that's just what I've practiced. And a few other um, Young Living oils that I plan to use or diffuse. So like Clary Sage. If contractions do slow down, that's to help pick up contractions or I can diffuse it. Lavender again if I want to diffuse peppermint, things like that. Um, then this is just like if I want to take a shower, of course, or something like that to have prepared. Um, you're probably wondering why I am showing you some of this stuff. Uh, the reason is we're actually <laughs> hoping to deliver at our guest cottage. Our house is about 950 square foot. And so we're going to be heading over to our guest cottage to birth our baby. And so I'm excited to use that space. That's why I have some extra things that, you know, you would typically have shampoo and soap in your bathroom and lotion. Like I, I love lavender. Like I've been telling you, lavender is great right now. So just like lavender for um, if I want to just, if my skin feels dry, you know, that scent. Um, so we will be at the guest cottage. And then this is a tincture, shepherd's purse for after birth to help with those, um, uh, stop the bleeding uh, afterwards. So I also have one more coming, after ease is one that I will be getting as well. Hydrogen peroxide is recommended. And then six swaddling blankets. So I have some from previous births of gifts and those are girl colored. We did not find the gender of this baby. So this one, some of these I ordered are like gender neutral and then just like a gray, light blue. So just to have six of those from baby comes, 12 washcloths to have for cleanup I'm sure and have on hand that we don't really care about. And then in this bag is all like my personal stuff like pads and a cover for the bed this spray bottle is amazing a peri bottle um i was given it after my first birth and so it's extremely helpful to have those extra pads in there depends type of things and then 
Um, since we don't know what we're having, I have a few outfits and a swaddle for baby. Uh, maybe like a little bow if it is a girl. This is for you know cleaning out the nose and getting all the gunk out. And also for baby, I do have a few extra that, like burp claws, burp rigs if I need those. A few one extra onesies if it is a girl and I want that. Like a crib sheet in the bottom there because we'll probably have um, a bassinet over there for the first night that we stay at our cottage. And then just some baby wash cloth. I love these bamboo ones that I get on Amazon. And some of these things I've gotten from Amazon I will link for you. Or you can check my shop out as well because I really like these for my toddlers. And I do have baby shampoo that I make. Um, the recipe is just super easy. Cast oil soap, some drops of lavender, distilled water, and that's that. I use it on my toddlers as well. So there is that. Just some extra clothes and un undergarments, stuff like that for me. And if uh, we're in our guest cottage for more than a day or so, I will plan to have that, like just like a dress and a sweater, like something comfortable, just a plain t-shirt, some capris, and a sweatshirt if I get cold, extra socks for my feet. I'll probably bring my slippers over um, and just have all that stuff ready to go. And of course, then we'll have stuff for my husband, but um, like I said, our guest cottage is literally right next door, so he could run back home if he needed to. So I'll also plan to bring a couple laundry baskets and some trash bags for the dirty towels. We do have a washer dryer set at our cottage, so that's really nice to have that. Um, yeah, and just this is pretty much the basics. We do need a garden hose to have water to fill up the inflatable tub for birth because that will hook up to your um, water um, spigot for the washing machine so we'll have that that we'll have to get or grab as well we won't use a dirty <laughs> a dirty garden one that we've had we'll have something cleaner and then potentially a few more like drop cloth slash um, tablecloths or shower curtains for the floor if I wish but really not much else this is the basics of what we need like I said some of the things I don't have yet like the afteries tincture I want to get the garden hose um, and a few other things I'll grab at the end and I'll just put it all in a bag for us have a couple things at the cottage beforehand um, so that I'm prepared and ready and I know you can never tell when a baby is going to actually come but hopefully everything will um, come smoothly and I'm hoping for coming about 40 weeks uh, this pregnancy the last trimester here this third trimester has been a little tougher and harder I carry very high and so I'm constantly having rib pains the baby did go head down already I don't know if I've dropped not, or, um, or not yet but definitely have put on more weight this pregnancy than my other two so I think it's still just gonna be a healthy baby I'm measuring fine we don't do any ultrasounds or extra checks being a home birth and midwife delivery so I'm just praying for a healthy baby boy or girl and having my supplies ready it just puts my mind more at ease and it just makes me feel just excited to welcome this precious life into the world and I'll be excited to share my delivery story with you whatever that brings whether it be home birth Hopefully we won't have to go up to our local city because actually I'm 40 minutes away from a hospital. So I would definitely have to be driving a ways if I ended up having something happen to go to a hospital. Another option is the birth suite that my midwives have, but I'm really just praying for a smooth delivery at our guest cottage and just enjoying the atmosphere there and the time with my husband and delivering this baby. So hopefully this helps you if you hope to have a home birth or if you've had one. Let me know something that you maybe brought with you to or had with you at your home that you thought was incredible to have that you really liked um, and that you would recommend for a home birth. Anyways, I hope this was helpful again and I will talk with you in my next one.